In this video, I'm going to do a step-by-step -step process on how to change the engine oil in a Ford Edge. This happens to be a 2011 Sport model. It's got the 3.7 liter. It takes five and a half quarts of oil. This is the oil filter I'm using. Since I'm using synthetic oil, you're going to want a synthetic filter. Now, I did do a separate video on how to reset the oil life monitor. If you need to do that, you can check out that video as well. First thing we need to do is get this vehicle up on some car ramps. I've got the vehicle up on ramps, the rear wheels blocked, I got cardboard and my oil catch pan underneath the crankcase. You're going to need a 15 millimeter socket. We're going to go ahead and loosen up that oil drain plug and drain out all the oil. After your oil is done draining, reinsert your oil drain plug. If you have a torque wrench, set it to 19 foot pounds. If you don't, it's going to be hand tight plus about a quarter to a half a turn. Next we need to change the engine oil filter. And coming from underneath the front of the car, if you come down here, it's in front of the engine oil crankcase. And I believe it's right next to the AC compressor. It's going to be right here. We're going to take this one off, put a new one on. If you have an oil filter wrench like this, uh, these work excellent to remove oil filters. They simply just fit on the back side of the filter like that. Then you can use a standard 3 8 ratchet to remove it. So we have the oil drained. We have the drain plug back in and tightened to proper spec. We have the old oil filter off, the new oil filter on. It's time to go up on top side and add the new engine oil. If you look at the oil cap, it takes 5W20. Uh, if you cannot read this, you can always check your owner's manual or go to Advanced Auto or AutoZone and pick out your oil filter. They'll tell you exactly how much oil you need and what viscosity. So I'll go ahead and add the five and a half quarts of oil. Go ahead and replace the oil cap. And then we're gonna start the vehicle, let it idle for about three minutes, shut it off, and then we're gonna check the oil level on the dipstick. Pull the oil level dipstick out, wipe it completely clean, reinsert it back into the dipstick tube, and make sure you push it all the way down till it's seated. Pull it back out and check the oil level. Now if you need to add a little bit of oil to bring it up to the recommended level, go ahead. Otherwise, close up the hood, Call this project done. Congratulations on changing your own engine oil. You saved yourself some time and money by not taking it to a dealership or a quick change place. If you need to reset your oil life indicator, I have a video on how to do that as well. Hope this video was helpful and informational. Thanks for watching.